Hey everybody, it's Tim Larkin and back with more self-protection information for you and those you care about. Listen, you know, lots of times there's lots of maxims out there that people will say all the time, you know, absolutes, these rules that are out there. And one of the most famous ones is probably the 21 foot rule. This is called the Tooler drill after the guy that um, actually invented it, which was Dennis Tooler, he's a very famous uh, firearms person. I'm going to go over that today. I'm going to show you that there are often times that you want to check the source before you just take something for, for granted. But before I get into that, please join the channel, subscribe, comment, hit the notifications, and share it with your friends and family. Anybody that you think needs real self-protection information, please share it. You're growing the channel really quick, and I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so now we're going to get into it. I got a, a video. It's really interesting. People always say, oh, 21 foot, 21 foot. Now, for those of you who don't know what 20 foot, oh, 21 foot rule is, it's basically a, a rule that says if you have your gun holstered, you know, concealed or whatever, and somebody charges you with a knife, that they can stab you or get a couple of stabs in prior to you being able to deploy your weapon and protect yourself. And the reason they're studying this was because they're trying to figure out for an officer like, how close do you let somebody get to you and, you know, before you go for your gun versus going after the person? What's really interesting is when you hear this interview with the guy that came up with the drill, Dennis Tuller, you quickly realize that a lot of the parameters that everybody talks about as absolutes are absolutely not correct. So I wanted to go ahead and play this uh, interview and, and show you just how important it is for you to understand, you know, what it takes in, in a real violent situation, what happens when somebody really wants to come at you, and what are the parameters of drawing your weapon and shooting somebody. Dennis covers it all in this interview. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, I'm going to just let it play. I might make a couple of comments, but I'm pretty much just going to let him talk. Now, this is uh, the, the gentleman um, off to the side here. Uh, as you're looking at it, on the left-hand side, that's Dennis Tooler. The gentleman on the other side, I think he's from American Handgunner. He was just interviewing him, caught him probably after a class and just asked him this question. The video is okay. We, we, we got the audio up a little bit, but uh, you'll be able to hear it all and, and hear what he says. So let's go ahead and play it. I appreciate the, you know, giving me the uh, Now, you mentioned the term 21 foot rule. Can I just elaborate on that for a minute? Absolutely. I'm not quite sure where that crept in there. And it's, uh, it's probably because we used 21 feet in that mm -hmm. original article. That original three yards or seven yards. Yeah. But there's nothing magic about 21 feet. We used that because we had a baseline for how long it takes to grow and chew. The reactionary gap, which is the term caliber press uses in the surviving age weapons uh, training tape. Okay. Uh, they talk about a reactionary gap, and that varies depending on your physical ability, how long it takes you to draw, the proximity of your, they use the term proxemics also, talking about how close the threat is. Um, with multiple adversaries, you might need to engage several people with several rounds to get them stopped, and that can require a much greater distance than just 21 feet. There's nothing magic about 21 feet. Um, yet, uh, it's, it's reactionary. Okay, so let's stop right there. What he's saying is, hey guys, there's nothing magical about 21 feet. We just happen to be, they were training at seven yards. And I believe what he said earlier in the interview was, somebody just asked, they go, hey, I wonder if I could run down and stab you before you could get your weapon out. And so they just started training at 21 feet because that's where they were, they were working at. And so that's what Dennis is trying to say to everybody. He says, hey, 21 feet just happened to be the distance we were working at. It is not a hard and fast. And he's already given you some parameters, multiple adversaries, having to deploy. He's going to talk about other things to take into consideration. A reaction and response time. So I want to make sure that... Uh, Which could vary wildly. Oh, absolutely. How are you carrying your gun? Find out how long it takes you to draw your pistol from however you are carrying it. Because if it's less than two seconds, then somewhere around 20 to 25 feet is a pretty good reaction to get. But if you're a deep concealment kind of person and it takes you several seconds to clear the clothing or dig in the purse or whatever it is, all that adds time to your response. And that means somebody at 40 or 50 or 60 feet can be on top of you in the time it takes you 
to dig everything out. So it, it has a lot to do with your own skill and ability and what you know about how long you can, it takes you to respond. At extremely close range, if we're at conversation distance, mm -hmm. if you suddenly produce a weapon, uh, probably the best thing I can do is see if I can block or disarm you, mm -hmm. rather than, because you've already started, and yeah, I, I cannot beat reaction. you to the draw. Okay, so he killed this point. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Um, so he talked about the idea that, hey, listen, you know, how do you carry your weapon? You know, uh, you, you got deep concealment. You know, is it buried in a bag? Have you practiced deploying your weapon, seeing how long it takes you to deploy your weapon? We did, uh, we did some tests, and it was upwards for some people, the way they carry their weapon. They couldn't get it out if the guy was 65, 75 yards away running them down. It's pretty amazing how quickly somebody can cover distance. So the reason I say this isn't really um, anything specific about gun training or anything like that. You know, I, I will cover some of that stuff later. What I wanted to cover was this idea. People just re repeat things over and over again. 21-foot uh, rule, 21-foot rule. Meaning, like, it's some magical thing that if somebody's within 21 feet to you, you know, you can, you will be able to deploy your weapon and get it out. Um, anything under 21 feet, you're in trouble. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Again, you heard all the different parameters that Dennis had, you know, when he was talking about this. Now, is it is it good to practice that? Yeah. Well, what I find a lot of people is, especially when it comes to firearms, is they carry a weapon, they get their CCW, and they rarely train. And what I mean by that is they don't train on anything like how long does it take you to deploy your weapon and get it out. That doesn't mean you need to be a speed shooter that you need to be able to pull out super fast and deploy your weapon it's just you need to know how long it takes from your concealment to get the weapon out accurately and then always obviously under stress you know we've done this with mild stressors and it's amazing how many people just flub it because they never practice this type of stuff they don't know how long it takes to get their weapon out they've never thought about that so again folks it comes down to you it comes down to your training it comes down to how serious you are about this especially if you're a firearms owner if you don't know the question the answers to these questions if you have not tried to deploy your weapon and see how long it takes to get your weapon out i highly highly suggest that you do that all right this has been tim larkin going over your self-protection needs thanks so much for your support please again subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications make your comments i love getting the feedback and answering your questions also listen there's some place around here there's a link you can get more information give us your email we have to be very careful how we put the information out here on youtube but we can be much more blunt with you when we send you information directly so all the best and stay safe